How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and one of the most common questions I get from iPhone users is if I use a 30 or 40 or 70 or even 140 watt charger to charge my iPhone, it's gonna be way faster, right? It's gonna take half or a third of the time to charge my iPhone compared to a 20 watt charger, the standard iPhone charger. It makes sense, right? Well, not really. Let me explain you how it actually works. So when we're talking about your iPhone charging speed, there are actually two things we need to worry about. So not only how powerful your charger is, but also how fast your iPhone is actually capable of charging, all right? So first, let's talk about how powerful your charger is or the charger you wanna buy. That's super easy to find, okay? Every single charger on the market will have that information. As you can see right here, 20 watts on this standard iPhone charger. You will find 70 watts right here on this one and so on. Uh, as you can see, those are non-Apple chargers, but they have information right here, 33. And on this one, 140, as you can see right there. So super easy to find. You can find it on the charger itself and also in the box. That's information number one. But information number two actually has to do, as I said, which the capability of your iPhone. And it depends quite a lot on your iPhone model. As you can see, I have this list here on iPhone charging speeds. This information is not provided by Apple. I actually had to get this information on testings that I performed, all right? With specific equipment and with specific apps, all right? And of course, I double checked with information from verified sources and that's the correct information. That's the real deal. So as you can see right here, it, it'll vary from 12 watts if we're talking about an iPhone 8 and then going up on 8 plus to 18 watts and then iPhone 11 series 22, 12 series 22 and so on. And then on the latest iPhone models, 27, 27, 27. Of course, as you can see, the iPhone SE is always slower, is always less capable. Even the SE3, it's 18, SE2, 12 and so on. And that's because those are cheaper iPhones and they're less capable. But as you can see right here, no matter how powerful your charger is, it'll never charge past 27 watts, even if you have the best iPhones, the latest iPhones, because that's the maximum capacity. And I'm talking about here of peak capacity, because your iPhone, even if you have an iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is this case right here, it won't charge at 27 watts all the way. Just in the beginning of the charging process, and then it'll start going down, down, down as soon as the percentage goes up, 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 all right? That's how it works. So just to make things very, very clear, you don't need anything more powerful than 30 watts. So if you get a 40, 70, 140, it'll charge the exact same speed as a 30 watt charger because again, that's the fastest the latest iPhone can go. And of course, if you have an older generation, Maybe you just need a 20 watts. And again, that's the maximum you can get, all right? So that's pretty much it. That's the piece of information I wanted to give you on this video. If you wanna know how fast your iPhone is charging, if you wanna run the test, and if you wanna check by yourself, I have a dedicated video right here on the channel. I'll leave a card and link in the description. You can check how fast your iPhone is charging. It's a very cool app. It's a free method, and I'm sure you're gonna like it, all right? So that's literally it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.